you are in the safest place you can possibly be for this happening. But one thing I was just, people have heart attacks, right? And that's a life-changing moment. And sometimes those heart attacks are happening and they need to immediately go to the catheterization lab to get their artery opened or they're gonna die. And so, and they might die anyway. Um, and so uh, in that moment, you, I, as a doctor, I know exactly what's going to happen in that moment. It's almost algorithmic of what they need, the medicines they need, the people that need to go run to the bedside, whatever. And so I always, I put a hand on their shoulder. I say, look at me right now. You are in the safest place you can possibly be for this happening. This is a bad thing that's happening. It's scary. It's dangerous. But there's no place in the world you'd rather be than right here. Right. What's about to happen is that a nurse is about to take your arm and then they take it and put an IV in it. Still look at me. And someone else is going to take your other arm and just moments a cardiologist is going to be by the bedside and they're going to ask you every question that i've already asked you maybe a couple others and you just need to do your job right now which is just talk to them so we can get you to the safest place and the next step in the safest place which is into this cardiac catheterization lab where they're going to put a wire in you it'll go to your heart and what we're going to try to do is save your life and so like giving them the information and trying to close it out to here, even though all this stuff is happening and letting them know what that next step is. It's a weird word, but one of my favorite parts of medicine. Cause you're doing, you're, you're doing what that person needs the most. So you're really able to help them at their, like at their hardest moment in life. 